Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on Windows Phone 8 mobile app development for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Windows Phone 8. This is part 1 in this series entitled Acquiring and Installing Tools for Windows Phone 8 App Development. First, your machine should be running on Windows 8 64-bit edition. To find out this information about your machine, go to Control Panel. Click System and Security and System. We can see that my machine uses Windows 8 OS and its system type is 64-bit. If your machine isn't using Windows 8 64-bit and you still want to develop a Windows app, there's a 90-day evaluation version for Windows 8. Just go to any search engine like Google and type Windows 8 evaluation version. Downloading is available in MSDN and TechNet. You have to select the version to download and click Get Started Now. You will need a Microsoft account to download it. But if you don't have one, you can easily sign up for one. But all this is if your machine still doesn't have Windows 864-bit edition. Otherwise, we are ready to download and install Windows Phone SDK 8. Microsoft Visual Studio 2012 for Windows Phone is also installed in this package and you can then start creating your Windows Phone 8 app. A second option is to first install Visual Studio 2012 and its update before Windows Phone SDK 8. The difference is besides creating Windows Phone 8 app, we can also create Windows 8 store apps for Windows tablets. Alhamdulillah, our university is part of Microsoft's DreamSpark program. DreamSpark allows KFU people free access to Microsoft software for learning, teaching, and research purposes. To take advantage of this program, I suggest for us to choose the second option. You need an account to log in if you don't have one yet. Please feel free to contact Mr. Nuizaman at nzaman at kfu.edu.sa. For non-KFU students, please inquire if your college is part of the DreamSpark program. Otherwise, just settle for the first option. For those who have access to DreamSpark program, go to dreamspark.com. Click Students. Sign in. And use your account. Then click Software Catalog. For your information, Visual Studio Professional 2013 RC or Release Candidate is already available through DreamSpark and the virtual launch event is set on November 13, 2013. I know it's tempting to download it, but since the semester has already started, we'll still stick with Visual Studio 2012. There. Select the product version and click download. If it's your first time to download using DreamSpark, you have to download and install Secure Download Manager first. You don't have to do this for your next downloads. Click it and install it. Next, download the SDX file and click the file. Then click Start Download. Once done, you can go to the Downloads folder and you will see that file, which is an ISO file. We will finish downloading all the tools that we need before installing them. So let's go back to the software catalog and let's look for the latest update for Visual Studio 2012. I believe it's now update 3, this one. So we have to click it to download it. Select the language and click download. This time, we don't need to install the Secure Download Manager. All we have to do is to click the download.sdx. and click the file and again start the download once done we have to go to the app development windows phone 
and Windows Phone 8. Let's use 64 bit and click the download. This is already the Windows Phone 8 SDK. It's the same thing. We'll just click the download.sdx and once the file has been downloaded, click it and start again the download. Once the last file has been downloaded, you can go back to your downloads folder to see that the ISO files and we are now ready to install them. Let's start with Visual Studio Professional 2012. Double click it and then you may start installing by double clicking this file bsprofessional.exe. Once finished, the next file you have to double click is the one for the update 3 and you have to double click this visual2012.3.exe. The last file that you have to install is the Windows Phone SDK 8. Double click it and you will see this wpexpressfull.exe and double click it install. I am not going to show you how to install them one by one anymore as you will already find the steps very simple. Later, if you have already successfully installed Visual Studio 2012, its update, and Windows Phone 8 SDK, we can proceed in our next tutorial. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.